The next thing that you do after the import is customize the Solera configuration for your particular environment. So let's edit the settings. The first thing that you can change is the amount of RAM. The amount of RAM that the Solera simulator needs depends on its use. If you just want to play around, two gigs is more than enough. But if you're going to replicate them or do Site Recovery Manager, you should really configure three gigs. Next, uh, and that's where you'd adjust that value. You'll notice it should be 3072, but it doesn't really matter. The next thing you do is you need to configure the networks to map your configuration. They map to ETH0, ETH1, and ETH2 in the simulator. And later on, I'm going to describe how those interact with the uh, interfaces within the Solera themselves. Now, the first one is connected to one vSwitch, the second one to a different one, and the third one to the same one as the first. Now, that's my particular configuration. So let me show you a little more in, in terms of the vSwitch configuration, why I did it that way, and hopefully it'll guide you towards how you should do it for your own purposes. In my case, I've got two vSwitches, well, three vSwitches. One vSwitch is connected to a LAN subnet and networking switch environment, and the other one is connected into a vSwitch. So you can see here that the Solera simulator needs to be connected to both because it's going to both present out NFS data, it's going to present out iSCSI LUNs, and it's going to need to connect, obviously, to management uh, traffic that's going to run over the LAN. So you can see that the Solera sim is attached to both the one at the top, which is my, uh, you know, my LAN. There's a vMotion vSwitch attached to a separate physical NIC. And then there at the bottom, you can see that it's also connected into um, you know, my iSCSI switch. In your particular case, you're going to need to tune this. Uh, if you are running everything on one subnet off of one physical NIC, that's fine. You can just put all the ports on there. And uh, later on, you'll even see that you could even add more ports if you had more than uh, uh, a LAN and an iSCSI switch environment.